physical description. Approximately 29 to 31 centimeters in length, males have a striking appearance with a greenish yellow body, a bright orange patch on the breast, and a grayish head. The back and wings are green with blackish flight feathers and a purplish band across the chest. Females are generally duller with less prominent orange on the breast. Eyes and bill. They have a bluish green bill with a yellow tip and vibrant reddish eyes. Environment. They inhabit a variety of forested areas including deciduous evergreen and secondary forests as well as cultivated areas with fruiting trees. Diet. Primarily frugivores feeding on a wide range of fruits and berries. They are known to favor figs but will also eat other fruits, seeds and occasionally flowers. Enjoy watching these orange breasted green pigeons video at Sri Vagbaleshwar Mandir in Banda. Okay. 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 This orange-breasted green pigeon was videoed at Bide's homestay. Chestnut headed beetle. Merops rationality is a vibrant and colorful bird species known for its striking appearance and social behavior. Here's an overview of its characteristics and habitat. Coloration The chestnut headed bee eater has a bright chestnut colored head and crown, giving it its name. The upper parts, including the back and wings, are green. The throat is yellow and there is a black eye stripe that extends from the beak through the eyes. The underparts are greenish blue. Size This bird measures about 18 to 20 centimeters in length, including the elongated central tail feathers. Beak Like any other bee eaters, it has a slender, slightly curved beak which is perfectly adapted for catching insects, particularly bees. Preferred habitats. These birds are commonly found in open forests, woodland edges, mangroves, agricultural areas and near bodies of water. They prefer areas with a good supply of flying insects. 
die. As the name suggests, bee eaters primarily feed on bees and other flying insects such as wasps, dragonflies and butterflies. They catch their prey in mid-air with impressive agility. Social behavior. Chestnut headed bee eaters are highly social birds, often seen in pairs or small flocks. They are known for their cooperative behavior, including sharing duties and caring for the young. Nesting. These birds nest in burrows that they dig into sandy banks on flat ground. The burrows can be quite deep, providing a safe environment for their eggs and chicks. IUCN Red List The chestnut-headed bee eater is currently listed as least concern on the IUCN Red List. This indicates that the species is relatively widespread and abundant. Its presence in various habitats across its range makes it an important species for studying avian, ecology and the health of ecosystems. Oof, such a stubborn itch. Gotta get rid of it somehow. The Nilgiri Flapica, Diceum concolor, is a small bird endemic to parts of South India and Sri Lanka. Here are some key points about this species. Physical appearance. The Nilgiri flapeca is a tiny bird typically about 8 to 10 centimeters in length. Its upper parts are olive green while the underparts are paler, often grayish or whitish. Both males and females look similar with no significant differences in their plumage. The Nilgiri flapeca primarily feeds on nectar, fruits and small insects. It has a specialized brush-tipped tongue that helps it extract nectar from flowers. It also plays a role in pollination as it moves from flower to flower. Habitat This species is found in the Western Ghats, the Nilgiri Hills and parts of Sri Lanka. It inhabits evergreen forests, secondary growth and garden areas often in hilly or mountainous regions. Behavior. These birds are usually seen singly or in pairs, flitting about rapidly among the foliage. They are active and agile, often hanging upside down or hovering briefly while feeding. Their flight is swift and direct. Breeding. The breeding season for the Nilgiri flapecker typically occurs during the monsoon months. They build small, neat cup-shaped nests out of plant fibers, moss and spider webs, usually placed in a concealed location within foliage. The female lays a few eggs and both parents are involved in feeding the chicks. Oh, I got the same one fellow, I brought him in the lens. One flapeca, I got him in the lens, so I'm going to get it a little bit better. Get ready to be amazed because today we're diving once again with our spotting scope into the hidden gem of Banda Samantwadi, which is a paradise for bird enthusiasts that you may not even know existed on the Western Ghats. Observe and enjoy the beauty of avian wildlife.
Blitz B. Bobler. Here are some key details about the species. Size. It is a small bird measuring about 12 to 14 centimeters in length with a wingspan of approximately 18 to 21 centimeters. Bill. The bird has a thin pointed bill which is well suited for its insectivorous diet. Breeding habitat. Breeds in a variety of habitats including weed beds, tall grass and shrubs near wetlands, rivers and lakes. It is also found in gardens and agricultural areas with dense vegetation. Wintering habitat. During the non-breeding season, it migrates to South Asia, including India, Sri Lanka, and Southeast Asia. It favors similar habitats such as dense undergrowth, scrub, and thickets. Diet. Primarily feeds on insects, including beetles, flies, and caterpillars. It also consumes spiders and occasionally berries. Feeding behavior. It is an active forager, often seen moving through dense vegetation and catching insects in mid-air or gleaning them from foliage. Nesting. The nest is typically built low in dense vegetation, often in weeds, grasses, or shrubs. It is a well-constructed cup made of grass, plant fibers, and other soft materials. Eggs. The female lays four to six eggs which are incubated by four parents. The eggs hatch after about 12 to 14 days and the chicks fledge roughly 10 to 12 days after hatching. Song. Blitz Reed Bobbler has a rich and varied song, consisting of a series of melodious phrases often mimicking other bird species. It sings mainly during the breeding season, both day and night. Blitz Reed Bobbler plays an important role in controlling insect population in its habitats. Its migratory behavior also contributes to the genetic diversity and ecological resilience of the species. Ongoing studies focus on its migratory patterns, breeding behavior, and ecological interactions. Such research helps in understanding the broader impacts of climate change and habitat alteration on migratory bird species. In summary, Blitz reed wobbler is a fascinating and adaptable species with a wide distribution and significant ecological role. Conservation efforts and continued research are essential to ensure the health and stability of its population across its migratory range. The Malabar Pine Hornbill, scientifically known as Anthroposaurus coronatus, is a striking bird species native to the Indian subcontinent. Size Malabar pile hornbills are large birds measuring about 65 to 85 centimeters in length. Plumage They have predominantly black plumage with white underparts and a distinctive white patch on the wing covers. The tail is white with a broad black band. Bill The most striking feature is their large curved yellow bill with a prominent black cask, a hollow structure on the top of the bill. Eyes they have red eyes with bare skin around them, which can range from pale to bright blue in color. Habitat Range These hornbills are found in the forests of the Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats, and Sri Lanka. They are also present in some parts of the Indian Peninsula, particularly in the Fairian forests. Preferred habitat. They prefer deciduous and evergreen forests, often near water bodies like rivers and lakes. Calls. Malabar pied hornbills are known for their loud cackling calls. Their vocalizations include a range of sounds from grunts to roars, which they use to communicate with each other. Got it. It's making sound. Is it done? Look at it right on the top.
nesting season. The breeding season typically spans from January to April. Nesting behavior. The female hornbill seals its herself inside the tree cavity using mud droppings and fruit pulp, leaving only a small slit through which the male feeds her and later the chicks. Eggs and incubation. The female lays two to four eggs and the incubation period lasts about 25 to 30 days. The female and the chicks stay in the cavity for several weeks until the chicks are ready to fledge. Feeding behavior. They are known to play a significant role in seed dispersal due to their fruit-heavy diet. They forage in the forest canopy and occasionally come down to the ground. Diet. Malabar pied hornbills are omnivorous. Their diet mainly consists of fruits, especially figs but they also consume small animals, insects, reptiles, and bird eggs. The white brown white tail is relatively large for a white tail. By giving about 20 centimeters in length, plumage, which has a distinctive mm-hmm. black and white plume. The upper parts are black while the yeah. underparts are white. A prominent white eyebrow, supercilium, so gives the bird its name. Tail. The tail is long and black with white outer feathers, often white up and down. Bill and legs. Both the bill and legs are black. Eyes. The diet of the white browed white like tail consists mainly of insects and other small invertebrates. They also consume small fish and aquatic larvae. Feeding behavior. It is often seen walking or running on the ground, frequently wagging its tail as it searches for food. It also catches insects in flight. Rain. This species is widespread across the Indian subcontinent including India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan. Preferred habitat. The white brown white prefers open areas and water bodies such as rivers, lakes, ponds, and streams. It is also found in agricultural lands, gardens, and urban areas with suitable water sources. Nesting season. The breeding season generally extends from March to September. Nesting behavior. The nest is a cup-shaped structure made of grass, roots and other plants materials lined with softer substances like feathers and hair. It is typically placed near water on a ledge or in a tree form. Eggs. The female lays three to five eggs which are incubated by both parents. The incubation period lasts about 12 to 14 days and the chicks fledge approximately 14 to 16 days after hatching. Calls. The white brown white tail has a variety of calls, including a sharp chip chip sound. Its song is a melodious series of whistles and chops. In summary, the white brown white tail is a visually distinctive and ecologically important bird species found throughout the Indian subcontinent. Its adaptability to different habitats, especially those near water, highlights its resilience and the importance of preserving diverse ecosystems for its continued survival. The ashy wood swallow, scientifically known as the Artemis fuscus, is commonly found in South and Southeast Asia. 
Here are some key details about this species. Size. The ashy wood swallow measures about 18 to 20 centimeters in length. Plumage. This bird has a distinctive uniform grey plumage, with the upper parts being a slightly darker shade of grey and the underparts lighter. The throat and upper breast are pale blue. Bill. The bill is short, thick and slightly hooked with a blue-grey colour and a black tip. Eyes. They have dark eyes which stand out against their grey face. Tail. The tail is relatively short and slightly forked. Rain. The ashy wood swallow is found on a wide range across the Indian subcontinent, including India, Nepal, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, and extends to parts of Southeast Asia, such as Thailand and Myanmar. Preferred habitat. These birds prefer open habitats such as agricultural fields, grasslands and forest edges. They are also commonly found in human habitation, including gardens and urban areas. Dive. The ashy wood swallow primarily feeds on insects, which it catches in flight. It is known for its aerial hawking behavior, where it swoops through the air to catch flying insects. Tree behavior. These birds often perch on exposed branches, wires, or other high vantage points from which they launch their feeding flights. They are highly agile and adept at catching their prey in the air. Nesting season. The breeding season generally extends from March to August. Nesting behavior. The nest is a small cup-shaped structure made of twigs, grass and other plant materials, typically placed in a tree fork or on a ledge. They may also nest in the cavities or in the eaves of buildings. Eggs. The female lays two to four eggs which are incubated by both parents. Incubation period lasts about 15 to 17 days and the chicks fledge approximately 20 to 22 days after hatching. The golden fronted bee bird, scientifically known as Chloropsis oriflorus, is a vibrant and colorful bird species found in parts of South and Southeast Asia. Here are the key details about this species. Size. The golden fronted leaf bird measures about 17 to 20 centimeters in length. Plumage. It has a striking green plumage which provides excellent camouflage among the foliage. The most distinctive feature is the golden yellow patch on its forehead and throat. Males are more brightly colored than females and juveniles. Bill. Bill is slightly curved, black, and well suited for its diet. Other markings. There is often a black face mask that extends to the throat in males, while females typically have less pronounced facial markings. Range. This species is distributed across the Indian subcontinent, including India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh and parts of Thailand and Vietnam. Preferred habitat. The golden fronted leaf bird prefers evergreen forests, deciduous forests and gardens. It is also found in forest edges and secondary growth areas. Diet. Diet consists primarily of insects, nectar and fruits. They are known to feed on a variety of fruits, berries and small invertebrates. Feeding behavior. Golden fronted leaf birds are active foragers. They often hover to take nectar from flowers and pick insects off leaves and branches. Their feeding habits contribute to pollination and seed dispersal. Nesting season. The breeding season generally varies by region but is often between March and July. Nesting behavior. The nest is a delicate cup-shaped structure made of fine plant fibers, cobwebs and leaves. It is usually found placed in the high in the canopy, well hidden among the leaves. Eggs. The female lays two to three eggs which are incubated for about 
14 to 15 days. Both parents participate in feeding the chicks once they hatch. Vocalization Calls The golden fronted beef bird has a melodious song consisting of various whistles, chirps, and trills. They are also capable of mimicking the calls of other bird species. In summary, the golden fronted leaf bird is a beautiful and ecologically important bird species found in South and Southeast Asia. Its vibrant plumage and diverse diet make it a key player in its habitat, contributing to the health and balance of forest ecosystems. Conservation efforts should aim to preserve its natural habitats and mitigate threats and habitat loss and the pet trade. The white chief barbit is a colorful and distinctive bird found in the Indian subcontinent. Here are some key details about the species. Size The white chief barbit measures about 20 to 22 centimeters in length. Plumage It has a predominantly green plumage which provides excellent camouflage in its arboreal habitat. The most distinctive feature is the white patch on its cheeks, which gives the bird its name. Additionally, it has brown streaks on the head and a greenish-blue crown. Bill The bill is stout and pale yellow, well suited for its food diet. The diet of the white cheek barbit primarily consists of fruits, berries and insects. They are known to consume figs, gauvers, and various other fruits. Nesting behavior The white cheek barbit excavates nest cavities in trees, tree junks, often preferring soft wooded trees. Both males and females take part in digging the nest hole. Brown Bubuk Brown hawk like owl with large, unsettling yellow eyes. Note solid brown back, patchy brown spotted white breast, and pale triangle above the bill. Adaptable Found in a wide range in forested habitats from primary rainforest to orchards and gardens. Most active at night and dusk. Often hung from an exposed perch gives a series of rising hoots. Yeah, you got all those lines, right? Yes, I got it. Not bunching. I'm moving.
Adios my burning friends. See you all next in episode 4. Banda.